Let's take a look at how we can run codeception tests with an interpreter which is inside a Vagrant VM. If you haven't looked at the previous video to this where we run codeception tests using a local interpreter, it's worth having a quick look at that because it covers some of the fundamentals of codeception and PHP Storm, including navigating around tests and running tests. So going back to the Bolt project, we now want to run these unit tests on a Vagrant box we've got. You can see there's a Vagrant file here. I've configured a Vagrant box with PHP 7.1. Uh, and all of the extensions that Bolt needs to run its codeception tests. So how do we do this? Well, we do it in exactly the same way as we did when we're using a local interpreter, except we set up a remote interpreter. So we create a PHP configuration. We create a PHP interpreter. Now, I don't want to use this CLI interpreter, 7.1 local. So we go dot, 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 and I want to add a new interpreter and from Docker Vagrant VM remote, because it's a Vagrant interpreter. And we can just click Vagrant and it should just detect that there's a Vagrant box in this project. And yep, it has, it's detected the settings. So we can click OK. And then it will check the uh, the version of PHP that's installed and where it is. And it's found everything. You can see we've got Xdebug here and PHP 7.1.4, which is nice. I'm going to add Vagrant on the end of this configuration so that I can see it here. And I'm going to tell it it's only visible for this project. That means that if I... Uh, look at the interpreters in another project. I don't see this interpreter, which is useful. So we can OK that and then apply this. And as we did with the PHP unit video, you can see that PHP Storm's detected the path mappings and everything looks good. So then we go to Codeception again. Now we can't use the local configuration here. We need to add another configuration and it's going to ask me which interpreter to use. And then I can tell it the remote vagrant one we just configured. So if we do that, you can see it connects to the Vagrant box and checks everything and tries to detect exactly what's going on. Um, and once it's connected and got the Codeception version, you can see 2.2.1. It knows the path mappings and it knows where to find Codecept. So that's all good. It's taken the settings from the local and applied them with the local path mapping to, to um, get the, the path there. So we can apply and OK that. So now we have everything configured to run on the Vagrant machine. We can simply do edit configurations, add a new codeception configuration, and call it uh, codeception vagrant. And again, we just want to do a type, and the type is all. Apply that and run the configuration, and everything should run on the vagrant box instead of on our local machine. So here we go, everything seems to be working okay. We can see that it's running on var ww now instead of on our local machine. So now you can see the tests have all run, all 428 tests pass, even though they were running on the Vagrant box. And obviously it took a little longer to run on the virtual machine than it did with the full power of my MacBook here. So it took one minute and 33 seconds, but everything worked great there. Obviously we mentioned in the local interpreter video that these Bolt acceptance tests don't actually use a browser. Um, or a headless browser and they don't actually use a web server to run the tests. So let's move over to our Symfony project and let's check how we can configure that where it does use a browser and it does use a web server. So before we um, change anything else back into the Symfony app, the one thing that I really need to highlight here is that we need to change uh, Codeception's configuration because we're going to be running this test suite on Vagrant with the web server on the same Vagrant box. So this Vagrant box has been generated via um, Puffit, which is an online tool you can use to, to generate Vagrant configurations. And effectively, everything's running on the same virtual machine. Our web server, Nginx, is running on a, the, the virtual machine, the same virtual machine as our PHP. So in terms of running these Codeception tests, the web server is going to be on a Vagrant box and the PHP interpreter that we need to run the tests is on that same Vagrant box. And for that reason, we need to use a, a local host URL because if you think about it, when these tests are run on the Vagrant box, they need to hit a URL that's on the same box. Therefore, we can use like 127.0.0.1, which is effectively an IP representation of local hosts to say, when you run your tests, hit your own IP address on port 8000 there's a web server there. So that's the first configuration we need to do. So the next thing we need to do then is to configure a remote interpreter. So if we go to PHP, um, you can see we've still got our local interpreter. I've left this exactly where it was when we um, had finished the local interpreter. So I need to add a new interpreter exactly the same way we did for the other Bolt project, V2 
Vagrant. This is a completely different Vagrant box than the bulk project, but we do everything in exactly the same way. So there you go, everything's detected, 7.1.5 with no debugger. So it's a different interpreter you can see. And then we just need to select that interpreter and go to Codeception and add a new configuration for Codeception. We've got a local one, but we need to add a remote one. And we just pick the interpreter that we just set there, exactly the same way we've done before. And then PHP Storm will um, get the Codeception version from the Vagrant box, from the VM, and make sure that it knows where everything is. And it does. And again, because we already had a local configuration, it can infer the details for us. Lovely. Applying OK. Now, I don't need to create a new run configuration because I already have the one I set up for the local interpreter. It'll just start using this remote configuration. So I can just hit play um, and everything should run perfectly fine. Yep, and there you go. You can see that it checks the home page, displays the correct Symfony version. All I needed to do was to update the interpreter, up update the Codeception settings and make sure that my Codeception configuration was using this new uh, website location.